Jesus and the servant of God, Father George J. Wilman S.J. To give us his welcoming remarks and to acknowledge our guests, may we call on the Executive Vice President of KC FAPI, Brother Anthony P. Nazario. Thank you, Ina. To our mass presider, His Excellency Bishop Bartolome G. Santos, Jr. D.D. of the Diocese of Iba, his co-celebrants, Reverend Monsignor Pedro Sicutorio III, Reverend Father Wilmer Rosario, Casey Priest Scholars, Reverend Father Robert T. Young, Reverend Father Hernandez Mendoza, Reverend Father Ronel Iliano, Reverend Father Ryan Serafin Siasis, Father Benjamin Geogracias Fajota, and uh, Father Jerome Cruz. Is he still around? I'm Monsignor Jerome Cruz. And of course, our seminarians, uh, Peter Paul Agnes and Jess Violet Lamban. Our distinguished guests, Senor Amon. Okay. Reverend Father Jeronimo F. Reyes. Sorry. Our distinguished guests from the jurisdictions of Luzon North, led by our servant president, Worthy Luzon North Deputy, Brother René V. Sarmiento. Our Luzon South jurisdiction, led by our Worthy Luzon South Deputy, Brother Bonifacio Martinez. And of course, with the respective uh, state officers of both state councils. The chairman of uh, our Mace Insurance, Brother Pascual Cabrero. Our distinguished, distinguished uh, guests are also with us. Our brother Gilbert T. and sister Sylvia T. Mr. and Mrs. Jose Magbanta Jr. Uh, ah, they're coming. They're going up. And uh, the Board of Trustees and Officers, Area Managers, Unit Managers, and uh, employees of the following uh, wholly owned uh, subsidiaries of KC FAPI, KISS Realty and Development Corporation with its chairman, uh, Brother Ramoncito A. Ocampo, and President, Brother Joven D. And of course, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our president in KC FAPI again for the second time, Brother Rene Sarmiento. Yes, the chairman of our KISS Realty, everybody, Brother Monchet Ramon A. Ocampo. And of course, our president, Brother Joven D. So, a pleasant good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to our humble home, KC FAPI. Uh, welcome to the home that was established by Father George J. Wilpan. So, as we commemorate the life and works of Father George J. Wilpan, may we always be united no, in pursuing his hopes and desires that the order may go may not only prosper in its own, but it may be the forefront of service to the church and to the poor that led, and to lead them to God. May we be also reminded that it is our own vocation to respond to our church and open our hearts and eyes to the needs that the youth whom Father George J. Wilman has entrusted to us. We are all called to be missionaries of the Filipino youth in mission as they are beloved, gifted, and empowered. Let us once again recognize the youth organizations established by the Servant of God, the Catholic Youth Organization, and the Colombian Squires in the Philippines. Out of our jubilation this day, may we never forget the very reason of this celebration. As we continue our lives every day as brother knights, employees, and laypersons, 
the legacy of Father George J. Wilman must always be alive and empowered. Regardless of what we are, our ideals and wisdom is always Father George G. Wilman that is the reason why we are all here gathered today. His life and ministry is the foundation of each and every one of us. It is and must always be. In unity and fraternity together, I ask all of you to persist in praying for the cause of Father George J. Wilman's canonization and beatification. Let us storm the heavens with our prayers. We, are, we all know that Father George lived a saintly life and is now in heaven. But we must be the witnesses of his life that is may be recognized by the congregation of the cause of saints. By this, it is not Father George who will be glorified, but our Lord Jesus Christ. As he is the chief shepherd in whose footsteps our servant of God followed throughout, the li throughout his life. So in behalf of the Knights of Columbus Foundation, our sincere gratitude to all of you who participated during the Holy Mass in commemoration of the 45th death anniversary of our servant of God, Father George J. Wellman, a friend of the poor and a missionary of the youth. Once again, good morning and viva Jesus. Thank you very much, Sir Brother Anthony. And now to give us updates on the cause of Father George Wilman, may we call on the postulator for the sainthood of Father Wilman, Monsignor Pedro C. Quitorio III. Thank you. Update. Actually, I will start from the start. This, this cause actually started during, uh, that was the celebration of the 100th birthday, centennial of Father Wilman. That was in 19... 97. Tanggalin ko na nga ito. Kasi sinasabi ng presidente, tanggalin ni. <laughs> Na BBM. But they started working on it. That's why uh, Father Ruiter wrote a book on this and marami mga publications to prepare for this. So in 2020, 20, 20 actually, 2020, 2001, they started writing the Cardinal about this. Kung pwede, magbukas ng cause ni Father Wilman. And the Cardinal, um, yan, during his birthday. The card, ito yung gipsilo ni Father James Reuter. Yung kanyang, ano, nakalagay na doon, they were doing this, looking forward to the day. Baka naman, sana, magumpisa yung cause for the beatification and canonization of Father George Wilman. Uh, so, ito yung dedication ni Father Reuter sa libro. Already, uh, seeing the possibility na pwede magbukas ng kos. Ito yung sulat ni Cardinal Sin. Uh, it was written to, uh, that time, kisi papi na yun eh, si Arsenas. So, uh, in response to the letter of Cardinal uh, of, of Arsenas, Cardinal Sindra answered with this letter telling Arsenas, you see, I consulted the provincial of the Jesuits. And the Jesuit provincial consulted the person in Rome na mga Jesuits na in charge ng uh, causes ng mga Jesuit priests. So, yung sagot ni Father Provincial, Romeo Intengan then, in 2001, was this, According to the advice of our father in charge in Rome, we need to delay the cause. Delay. The reason is, hindi pa siya kilala, especially knights kilala. Kahit sa mga knights, hindi kilala eh. Pero sa labas, hindi. So we have to have a widespread kind of cult or fama sanctitatis uh, uh, on the uh, subject, Father Wilman. So the delay... Nothing happened in, from 2001 hanggang the Knights of Columbus started working on spreading the popularity, the fame of sanctity of Father George Wellman. Ang daming ginawa ng Knights of Columbus since then. Oops, numerito na po ako. <laughs> so, until it was December 7, 2015, 
Cardinal Tagle, who used to be a scholar of Father Wilman during college in San Jose, uh, started in response to the letter of the Knights of Columbus to the Cardinal, can we open the course? Handa na po kami. From 2001 to 2015, ang daming ginawa ng Knights of Columbus. One of those in 2013, while the church was celebrating the year of faith, Bishop, the Knights of Columbus was building that memorial, that chapel of Father Wilman, our, our hub of our faith. So, ginawa yung chapel, ginawa yung museum, ginawa yung building. And we spread, ang daming uh, ginawa nationwide ng Knights of Columbus to spread the fame of sanctity. So, ito si Cardinal Tagle, open it. And ito si Monsignor Jerome Reyes. Siya po yung judicial vicar ng Cardinal. So, lahat nakasalalay dyan kay Monsignor Jerome Reyes. Palagpakan kay Monsignor Jerome Reyes, please. Nagbihay kami ni Monsignor Jerome, hinanap namin yung mga witnesses. We have 50 more or less witnesses. One of them was in, kasamba yun sa US, Monsignor Jerome. And then we went to New York, yung mga pamangkin ni Father Wilman, in-interview namin doon. And we had one in yung Supreme Night. Saan tayo nagpunta? Kasi namahang ko siya. US na yun eh. Kasi namahang ko siya. Anyway, but then after 2015, we interviewed, we, 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 we heard the disposition of several witnesses, mga diviso witnesses na buhay pa that time. Um, but we had some little hitches, and one of the hitches was that the cause, according to the norms, should be opened where he died. And he died in New York. He attended the Supreme Convention, Mabilisan lang. Uh, naliligo siguro, nag-slide siya sa paliguan, sa bathroom in New York. And then, he, after several weeks, he died. So, the, op the cause should have been opened in New York as diocese. So, we had to work again uh, for the transfer of competence from New York to Manila as diocese. So, nakuha natin yon. Then, we got the... Uh, approval of Cardinal Dolan, Timothy Dolan, and then we were given the Neil Obstad by the Congregation of Articles of Saints in 2021. Kaya lang, uh, ano po yun? Pandemic, so nag tayo ng cause. Ayun, yun ang pinunta namin. <laughs> Sino pa nakakilala sa inyo niyan? Di ka, di ba? Yung natin, natin Supreme Night. Ayun, yung kanyang mga pamangkin. Cardinal Vidal was one of those who deposed there. Ito yung mga bishops na nagbigay ng testimonies about Father Wilman. This is Cardinal Rosales, si Bishop. Oh, who can guess? Wisto eh. Almoneda. And this is a Jesuit priest. Father, no, kalimutan ko na. Okay, sila lang nagbigay ng testimonies. Ito si Chief Justice Davide. So they were among the 50 that is witnesses. Bakay? Yun. Pinuntahan namin ni Father Jerome. Uh, Monsignor Jerome. Uh, ayan. May approval na rin sa Catholic Bishops Conference. Nabigyan na po. So kompleto na po yung lahat. Ito yung Neil Obstat na binigay ng Congregation for the Causes of Saints in January 2021. So... Everything was prepared, so we had to reopen it. When Cardinal Advincula, kasi na as the assigned si Cardinal Tagle, so we had to reopen, the, re resume, not reopen, resume the course nung itong July lang 2022. Jan po sa Arkham again, through the efforts of Monsignor Jerome Reyes, ang judicial vicar. He represents Cardinal Advincula. Sayang lang wala dito si Advincula, si Cardinal. He was invited, but there was a conflict. Ito po yun. Okay, so you, that's the latest now. So yung ginagawa namin ngayon, nag-convene ng tribunal, ang Archives of Manila. Meron tayong historical commission, my theological commissions. They are working now. They're working. So yung mga witnesses, um, meron pa na yung mga uh, idadagdag na mga witnesses. Um, and then when it is done, this diocesan 
phase will go to the Vatican phase. Hopefully soon. I don't know when. So, yan. So, andito tayo ngayon. Trabaho ng ARCAM. Sinang mo, Senor Reyes. Uh, pag natapos po yan, lilipat tayo dito. At wala tayong magagawa kundi magdasal. Sila na yan sa Vatican. Dasal na lang po tayo. And we encourage everybody, help us please spread His cause, His fama sanctitate, His fame of sanctity. And then encourage everybody, your friends, to keep praying for the cause. And then to recruit more members of Father Wellman Fellows. Okay? So, ngayon, we were supposed to launch the website kasi isa po ito sa mga ano ngayon, lingwahe ng panahon. If you want to promote something, do social media, do website. So we will, we will promote that website now. And this was designed by... Uh, uh, ano siya eh? How do you call that? Um, si Nani... Yan, ano siya? Alam mo si Nani, ano yun? Lead guitarist to ng isang bande. Ano yun? Ang pangalan nun? Sila ni Soto? How do you call that? Huh? Lead guitarist yan. So, best, magaling siya sa, sa, ano, sa design ng website. So, he, he did this. Uh, kasi madalian po, uh, we started working on this itong July, August lamang. Pero natapos din niya. Kagabi, hanggang madaling araw kami. <laughs> Ninani. So, uh, Chris, please. Hello, good morning, and welcome. So we will be officially launching the official website of Father George J. Willman or the www.fatherwillgun.com. So for our digital tour of the Father Willman website, upon opening of its homepage, okay, we will proceed to the ceremonial click of the website. So, may I request um, Brother Anthony P. Nasario and our case of Abby President, Brother Rene P. Sarmiento, for the ceremon ceremonial click of the website. Thank you very much, po, Brother Ne and Brother Anthony. And so upon the fresh and so upon opening of the new Father Wilman website, once again it's www.fatherwilman.com. And so upon opening of its homepage, we are greeted with a glimpse of interior of the Father Wilman Museum. So before we proceed for the official pinakaunang part na yon, we will skip to that. Yeah. So on the front page is uh, basic information of Father Wilman with the latest updates moving forward, and on the main button spot sa upper sa upper part of the website is his life, his ministry, his vision and legacy, cause for sainthood and prayer. So under life, under his life, meron po tayo dito part of the early life and education. Uh, there is a short article from where he was born where he studied, and when he came to the Philippines. Under missionary work, uh, the date of his ordination, the time he spent in Ateneo, the established organizations, while here in the Philippines, of course, uh, his works during the Japanese occupation, and the granting of his Filipino citizenship. And now, we move to the portion of his death, the announcement of his death, the details of his death, and his legacy. Ayan. So, uh, visitors po who would like to know the life and works of Father Wilman, on the first page pa lang po, or the first column of the website, meron na silang uh, makukuha mga basic informations or yung mga basic data from his life and his work. Moving forward from his ministry, under his ministry, uh, this is a more comprehensive look on his life and works. 
Uh, under this is the emergence of the Father Willman in the Knights of Columbus. This is uh, his awareness of the order, uh, his introduction to the order, sino po ang nagpakilala sa kanya, and his initiation in 1930s. Uh, under uh, next po is the wartime preoccupation. Yan. So ito po yung mas uh, broader details po of the information earlier. And his services to the civilians in need during the time of Japanese occupation. Ayan. Uh, next po is Father Wilman's debut in the KC Philippines top leadership. This is the time na na improve or na develop na ni Father Wilman yung membership of the Knights of Columbus here in the Philippines. Uh, from three constituting council in the Philippines and his appointment as district deputy of the Philippine, De Philippine District. So ayan. So wala pa pong jurisdictions noon. Isang buong isang buong Pilipinas po ang hawak po niya. Again, uh, then next po is the first KC National Convention in November 29 to December 2, 1949. Ayan. So dito naman po next is his first term as territorial deputy. So from his from Philippine deputy naging territorial deputy na siya. He holds the councils from all over the Philippines na po. Ayan. Next is the birth of Casey Fappy. This is the time that the composition of the local membership was changed. Lower income groups of society were encouraged to join in the order of two, the full influence of Father Willman. And granting of the permission of the use of the Knights of Columbus name, since the entity would provide fraternal insurance to the members in a country where it had a problem introducing their insurance system. His vision and legacy, and a cause of sainthood eventually as time goes, will be updated appropriately. Ayan. So ito na po yung mas deeper life pa dun sa kanyang life. Ayan. Ayan po yung mga organizations na established ni Father Wilma. Namely, the Catholic Youth Organization in the Philippines in 1938, the Catholic Press, the, the Catholic Press that published Filipinas and the Cross Magazine in 1946, the Colombian Squires in the Philippines in 1950, Daughters of Isabella in the Philippines, which was later reorganized, to the name under Daughters Mary of Immaculate, or yung mas alam nating DMI, Ladies of the DMI. And then, uh, in no, 1950s, he also organized the Colombian Farmers Aid Association and then renamed to Knights of Columbus Community Service Incorporated in 1962. Of course, the Knights of Columbus Fraternal Association of the Philippines in 1958 and the Knights of Columbus Philippines Foundation, now renamed as Casey Philippines Foundation in 1971. Under the prayer tab, last po, ayan. Ito na po yung isa sa mga pinaka-essential parts ng website natin and kinakailangan din po natin sa cause of Father Wilman, which is the prayer submissions and prayer requests as well as the uh, answered prayers to Father Wilman's intercession. Under the prayer tab, you may send intentions through the intercession of Father Wilman and will be remembered and offered during the weekly masses at the Father Wilman Chapel. So weekly po, meron po tayong... Uh, Meron po tayong mass sa Father Wilman Chapel. And then, kung ano po yung uh, prayer intentions, of course, sasalain po natin yan sa cost of Father Wilman naman. Then, uh, isasama po natin siya sa intentions natin during mass. And of course, the answered prayers through, the, through Father Wilman's intercession. Uh, kung meron po tayong mga answered prayers through intercession of Father Wilman, whether be, be, whether be it small or big, eh, nare-request namin na isubmit po nila through the Father Wilman website. So that's it. His life, his ministry, his ministry, his vision and legacy, the cause for sainthood and prayer. Uh, in time, po, uh, as the uh, as time goes, we will upload and uh, appropriately update the website of Father Winman. Thank you very much, po, and good morning. Thank you very much, Brother Chris, and congratulations on the launching of the website of the Cause of Father Willman. Okay, you're simple and true, heroic in love, compassionate father, humble and brave, a man for the poor, a man for the other, a gentle warrior and the knight of Christ. Let us all continue to pray that one day, Father Willman may be raised 
to the honors of the court of the Lord in heaven. Servant of God, Father George J. Willman, intercede for us. And to bless the food that we're about to partake, may we request Father Hernandez Mendoza Jr. to lead the grace before meals. Okay, may we request Father Robert Young instead. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Bless us, O Lord, in these uh, gifts which are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the souls of all the faithful departed to the, the mercy, mercy of, of God, God rest, rest in peace. Amen. amen. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Happy eating. <laughs> spiritual. 